three quarters of the money that this city spends is wrapped up in, in, into salaries, benefits, and debt. That to me is astonishing. Then I took a look at, well, where are the salaries? Well, the police represent 29.43% of that. Your fire represent 21.1% of that. Your water, 14.82. Sewer, 14.8. Sewer, 13.6. Sanitation, and it goes on. Again, the highest contributors are the police. There's a chart. Breaks down the salaries. Between the fire and police, it's over 50% of the budget money into those salaries. Water is your next highest. Sewer is your next highest. <laughs> that all other category, all the support services, the controller's office, the clerk's office, uh, the attorney, all those total out to only 800,000. <coughs> Sanitation is your next highest at 730,000. That's about all I can say, except that I urge you to vote no on this budget. I, do, I think you need to go back to, to the beginning. You need to go through it line by line. You need to take out the raises and just start over. Because you're under budget by, what, 100000 and we've only got 600000 in our fund balance, why don't we go in and look at all the items that could be cut? We need to have between a good figure somewhere between two and four million in a fund balance. So if something happens, we've got money to fall back on. Six hundred thousand doesn't get it, folks. And that's what we had last June. We don't even know what we have today. We have got to stop all this spending. Things have to be looked at very carefully. And I don't think they have been. Thank you. But to the four of the five that are here tonight, this lies with you. This totally is 110% yours. It isn't about the Corporation Council, it isn't about the Mayor, it isn't about the Controller. The vote of this budget lies with you. That's why you were elected to do it. My plea to you is that before you cast your vote, you truly feel 100% confident that responsibility and vote your way more power to you. But I plead with you to please make sure you know what you are voting on. Thank you. Economic development, and we all have to agree that the city needs more economic development. And that services are maintained, and that uh, the, the water distribution fees are now more fairly levied. The deliberations on this budget, as far as I can see, have been thorough and exhaustive. And on a specific point, the Common Council has been historically and is now fiscally conservative. It believes that the proposed salary for the Corporation Council is justified. And they're conservative. We ask for respect in this room, and I expect that you will all keep this as thought. And uh, you know, that having said that, Mayor, I, uh, it makes me proud to be an American because we all can, we all can voice our opinions and that uh, I thoroughly respect their opinion. And uh, some of the people that have spoken tonight have made some very good points. But don't forget that Mr. DeCasecas has performed exemplary in securing savings for our great city to the tune of hundreds of thousands of dollars. And above and above beyond his duty, and also uh, uh, with the Department of Social Services, he's the one who uh, was able to secure the people to come uh, that are on uh, social services right now to help with the city cleanup and vegetation control. And above and beyond his duties, uh, the council has negotiated, uh, this is a smaller point, I'll agree, but he's negotiated labor contracts that would have cost our city attorney fees, that this is something that he took upon himself that was not farmed out. So this was a way of saving our city money that, you know, this is not a hidden fee. <laughs> plan update. We need that. We need that to get more money and grants. We don't have anyone in the city to do that. And that's why this position is being proposed because we want to grow our revenues like we grow our costs. And that's the problem. It's Our costs are not going to suddenly start to go down. 
So we have to somehow figure out how are we going to address the difference between our expenses and the revenues coming in. We have to grow. And in order to do that, we have to invest. The city of Amsterdam, I mean the city of Schenectady invests eight hundred thousand dollars into economic development every year but they have in their downtown. But and they may, they have a different situation. But the fact is they are investing and people